Hi lovelies, I am so back and so good to be back. I haven't been recording for a month I think and I have seen, been so busy and, and everything, so much has been going on but here I am. Finally found some time to record something and I am going to show you the decks that have been arrived during the time away from YouTube and I have a lot because I have been trading a lot of my decks away and and getting new ones new vibes everywhere so my deck taste totally changed during the August and September where I sat down and looked at all of my decks. I had 50 something, 56 I think at that point tarot decks and a few oracles. Now I still have few oracles but uh, tarot decks I think I have 46 left. So I'm going to show you what type of decks I've been getting and having and, and these are the ones that I haven't showed you yet. This is not unboxing because they are obviously unboxed already but let's just start somewhere and the first is the Hermetic Tarot, the black and white one which is probably the only one I have with a cult symbolics and everything but it's a good one I hope the camera focuses so yeah it's nice to have one deck that is full of symbolics and is not colorful. It's easy to understand and read and yeah. Also the traffic noises you are hearing. I am not recording at home anymore because I have a place near the main street in this little town I'm making everything from here from now on. Okay, next is the English Magic Tarot, which is enabled by Chase, Two of Owls, and I really love the majors, but the frames on the minors are a little bit distracting to me they are too too bright I think although I thought after getting this deck and and going through all the all the secret messages on the cards that I will trade it away but then I changed my mind because it's probably the most masculine deck I have right now besides the alchemical tarot but but this is like pure masculine thing and and it's good to have at least one deck of this type so next is the cat people I'm not sure if I've showed some of them because many of them I got some time ago already I just have haven't had time to show them to you I love this cat people tarot it's so shamanic and so 
not about cats at all for me at least I thought it would be more cat oriented but but not really so yeah the carte blanche which I'm keeping inside the deck okay next is the Bosch tarot this one I got fairly recently and I love this one this makes me laugh and happy and it's so quirky it's it's like looks like old deck medieval I'm yet to I will probably mm, trim the most of the the uh, ages away from this one but I just love the quirkiness on this one the the this is like happy-go-lucky deck for me which came as a, a surprise but so it is and I'm really happy with this one so the Bosch Tarot then the I'm forgetting names again um, Herbal Tarot Rider White with Herbs awesome awesome deck also it has this 70s vibe to it and all the weeds and and trees and stuff on here are just i like this one a lot can use it with working with herbs when I create whatever soaps or 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 ointments and and magical stuff like that so next is the shapeshifter tarot which I trimmed the blue borders were like too much for me and I'm using it not as a tarot deck but as an oracle the shape-shifting people have been visiting me a lot lately in my dreams and and the other world so to speak the lucid dreaming and and the shamanic journeying all the shapeshifters have been appearing to me and and this deck was was a great addition to find out their their messages as well okay the same shape shifter so next the shining tribe also great shamanic deck i love this one i was thinking about getting the dark goddess tarot at one point but after i saw this one I immediately knew this one would be much better for me they have similar vibe to them the art style the the idea for me is so similar to the dark goddess but this one has much more into it for me
So the Shining Tribe. Next is the Mariel. This I got, oh my god, before moving. And and um, I've been struggling with this one. So either I thought either to keep it or not. I went through the deck, I don't know, 10 times maybe. And, and sorted the people and you can see the people here and the this is half and half I sorted the people and the animal like creatures separately and thought I would use those as a pathwork. The glare is awesome. Uh, pathwork deck. Then I again thought I won't need it and I will trade it away, but here they are and I will keep those probably for now. Although I haven't much used it. To be honest, it's like I reach for other decks usually. Next is the Triomphe de la Luna, the this one Marseille style, but all. Deviant Moon. Funny thing with the Deviant Moon deck. I totally traded mine away, I think in August, right? I think it was. And this was, the Deviant Moon was the only deck I felt sorry for trading and so I traded me back the Deviant Moon aged red, dark red, crimson, I'm not sure how do you call it but I'm so happy I have this one it's weird how I thought, may I don't probably use it. And then right after it was gone, it came haunting me that I really need this. And, and uh, right after that decision, I got the Triomphe de la Luna also because of my Marseille journey and now what I have next the Tarocco Neo Classico Il Menegello Menegello so this little cutesy I just love those old, old I Italian decks they are just awesome and and the papery feel and the smallness of this deck is like this is something precious okay now the Oswald Worth Tarot by US Games the redrawn version of it and this is one piece of the tarot history which I really wanted to have despite it is not the worth original art and since he put so much significance on to the shades and colors on his deck and 
these are totally changed so this is the only one I could get I think I will get the book version where you can cut out the original art of the Oswald Worth uh, as he only actually did the majors but this is redrawn reproduction of how they thought he would have drawn the miners but my goal is to get all the decks starting from the Visconti until the Rider White all the major ones in between I want to have and the Oswald Worth is totally one of them I'm still missing few from this history line but I will get those two okay what else the golden tarot by Gat Black was it I think I'm sorry if I'm wrong but I resisted this deck quite a long time because of the overly overly Christian symbolics in this one but after I really dug into the history of the tarot decks as they are at our disposal right now the whole thing based on Catholic Church symbolics and and medieval beliefs it's derived from there so it doesn't bother me anymore it is part of the evolution of the deck of tarot itself so what I have not showed you yet oh the Samhain deck of the bastard second edition this one which is awesome bastard the cardstock is mm, really nice and the majors and the court cards are based on the Eteila, Eteia deck and the miners are from Rider White with little quirky additions to them so yeah this one it looks old, it, it uh, feels different and old and, and I'm really happy to have this one too. So, Deck of the Bastard. And this is it, I think. Yep, this is it. These were the decks that I haven't showed you or they arrived later within last three months I think so others I think I have showed you all already but I'm planning to do the the collection collection re revisited because um, my taste changed so much and my thinking of decks what I want to have and why and and so this is really interesting 
shape shifting within myself that has been going on lately and finally I feel I'm on the right track and at peace with what I want and what I have. I also have the Le Tarot Noir, I think it would be pronounced, and the Pagan Other Worlds, and I'm not sure I'm having those at home and because I'm using those more daily. I think this is it, Wildwood is home at uh, at the moment, at home at the moment as well. Others are all here. Yes, so I'm going to upload more because I have huge list of ideas and uh, and things I want to talk about and things I want to show you and things that's been going on and this is really interesting I've been so busy I haven't slept much everything has been happening and everything has been happening in a good and right way I really really feel I'm on the right tracks and all this shift and th things happening during the same time it is not a coincidence I think so yeah I think this is it thank you for watching and